In the previous lecture, we were understanding about the auto mesh command in hyper mesh. So we are going to continue that type of meshing and we are going to learn about some more options in hyper mesh, especially the auto meshing. So till now we have extracted the mid surface. So let's say I will go to F12 once again, go to auto mesh F12. So here right now we have this part. So let's say I want to do the mesh. So the first option will be to mesh all the part at a single time. So what will happen when we mesh the part at a single time? So here element size, let's say I'm taking here. Okay, two will be good. Okay, so I'm taking two, let's say element size. We will change it later if there is need. Okay, so all settings are default here. Here go to surface, click on displayed and click on mesh. Now click return. Now what happened? Let's see. You will see onto this face, the mesh flow is very, very bad. You can see the mesh is going anywhere. So this is something we don't want. We want a good flow of mesh. Otherwise, our result of analysis will not be proper. Also here you will see, again, the mesh flow is not good here. Similarly, here you will see the mesh is very, very bad. So that is why we never do all the mesh at a single time. So to avoid this types of situation or to have a better control over the geometry, there are some options in hyper mesh to simplify the geometry. So here I will click on reject and return. I don't want the mesh. If you go to this quick edit tool, go to geometry and quick edit. This is very powerful and useful command. To simplify the geometry, you will see some options like split surface, node to node, node to line, washer, unsplit, toggle, filler, delete, adjust, etc. So let's learn about some important commands here. First important one is split surface, node to node. So with this, you can select any two point and split the surface. Now let's say I want to split the surface here this top surface. So let's say I will click on this edge and then click on opposite edge. You will see a splitting line. So whenever we split the surface, we only split from edge to edge. Let's say I will split this from here. So this is useless. We never split from here like this because it is not going anywhere. So we always split the surface from edge to edge. So you will see we have some extra splitting line. To unsplit it, go to unsplit, click on this line. Okay, so let's say here, I want to split the surface from this edge up to this edge. So click here, you can see the surface has been splitted. So with the split surface, we have more control over the surface. After that, we have one more option that is node to line. So it is going to split the perpendicular line. It means, let's say I will select this node to line and okay, I pick up this point and pick up this line here, opposite line. So this command always create the perpendicular line. So you will see that this line is perpendicular to this opposite line we have selected. So whenever I select this first point, and then select this line. This time it is going to split here. So it is always going to create a straight line. So this is again very useful command. And after that we have one more option that is called the washer. Whenever we have circle, we are going to create washer around them to have a better mesh flow. For example, let's say we have circle here or we can say hole. So I will go to washer. Here in this washer, we need some offset value. So let's say I take this value 1 and then click on this line. You can see it has created an offset. Because of this offset, we have much more control over the mesh flow around the circle. Then we can use the unsplit. Then toggle. Toggle means temporary delete. I will go to toggle. Let's say I don't want some line. Okay, so let's say here. We have multiple fillets here. So sometimes it may possible that we can convert this complete fillet into a single fillet. 
to do this we need to delete these two between lines so to delete them go to toggle click on this line and then click on this line you can see now we have a much larger fillet so now this is a complete single surface and if you want to untoggle go to this line here make a right click onto this line now it is untoggled also we can define a toggle tone lens if the gap is very large okay then filler we can fill any surface or hole say i have a hole like this click on filler it is going to fill it after that we have delete surface go to the surface i want to delete it select the surface and it will go it will be deleted then we have adjust the node density so we are going to use it when we do the mesh then we have replace point so again this is very important command so replace point means let's say okay let's say i have two lines like this this is the first line and this is the second line but let's say sometimes it may happen that i want these two points for example let's say i have one more point like this so i want to combine these two points so what i can do i will go to replace select the first point select the second point so it will be replaced similarly we have add or remove point and one more important command here is that we use that is project point so with this option we can project a point for example let's say okay let's say i will go here here i want to project this point onto this line to do this i will go to project select this point and then select this line now you can see this point has been projected in a perpendicular direction now i can go to node select this point and select this point so these are some of the useful option in the quick edit panel and these are very important command and we are going to use it them frequently